Kill me, I'm here! Kill me! Everybody, this is Matthew Movies coming at you with my review of the Garbage Pail Kids movie. Now, this is a movie that I've actually been wanting to see for quite a while. I often see it on lists of some of the worst movies ever made, and it comes up a lot. And I've seen a lot of like stills from it and how atrocious these puppets are. And I've always been kind of curious. And I remember these cards when they came out. I used to have a few cards of them back in the day. And uh, I actually have a few of the uh, newer school figures that uh, are out these days. And I like I've always had a bit of an affinity towards the Garbage Pail Kids. It, they're they're if for those of you who don't know, they're these ridiculous characters that were kind of plays on the Cabbage Patch Kids that were hugely popular in the uh, late '80s, early '90s. And um, it's really cool that they actually made a movie of them, or at least I thought it was. I remember watching, like, seeing the box in the video store when I was a kid and wanting to check it out, and my parents not letting me. I never understood why. I guess they knew something that I didn't, because I just watched this movie, and dear lord, is it a piece of garbage. Like, oh man, it is bad and wildly inappropriate. There's some sexual content in this movie that is baffling for a movie that was clearly designed uh, to be supposed to be made for kids. And again, if, for a movie that was supposed to be made for kids this is not appropriate whatsoever there's drinking there's all kinds of violence there's like i said sexual content there's a character that you see in her bra there's a character like that it seems to be like, using her uh sexual uh prowess to get a child to essentially to do her bidding for her um as just wildly inappropriate the like i said before the the puppets that it's 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 people little people in these like puppet head things and the make the puppets look just so weird and off-putting and they have no expressions their eyes blink and their mouths move but that's it they look so awful there's one that constantly has his nose run her nose running and she's always like rubbing it on things and that's supposed to be funny and it isn't and then there's one with like all kinds of pimples and stuff who just constantly pees himself and again that's supposed to be funny like i know that the the, the cards were gross out humor but it, there, there was kind of like a bit of a beauty to the gross out humor because it was like a one time thing like you would just look at it it would be like you know nosy nelly or something like that it'd be a character with like dripping snot or whatever and you know there's no classiness to that whatsoever so i guess it makes sense that that's what they did with this movie but it's also not you know strung over 90 minutes of awfulness with faces that are just so gross and terrible the acting uh, in this movie is just weird and terrible anytime any of the the puppets are are talking like on any of the characters it's just so weird uh, can i have i mentioned that this movie is weird and terrible yet it really really is one of the things that i kept thinking about while i was watching it is you know I am fairly aware of what the process of making a film is like. I mean, I've never been involved in it, but I've seen lots of documentaries. Uh, I don't know how it feels to be in one, obviously, but I know like the nuts and bolts of, of, of lower level production like this one. And I know that, you know, there's months of preparation or at the very least weeks or days and the, the time taken to shoot these movies is usually weeks or day like that like a month or so and it's just mind-boggling to me that there was a group of adult human beings that spent x amount of days x amount of weeks x amount of months working on this movie and thought throughout the process yes this should continue this is we're on the right track or even if they weren't on the right track we're, we're stuck through it all and we're like yeah i'll have my name on this thing that'll be good for my career because my lord like can, I, can you imagine how like the for instance the little people that were are in those puppet heads like those puppet heads i guarantee you were super stuffy and warm and uncomfortable and how would you feel if you were them and you had to go home late at night and after a hard day's work and you're covered in sweat and grime and you're gross and you, you're, you're tired and you want to lay down and go to sleep and then you're in that dark room and you think to yourself well 
you know, at least I'm making, wait a minute, that's the movie I'm making? Because I can't imagine that there wasn't a feeling on set that the, they knew that what they were making was not going to be a hit and was not going to be remembered fondly. And when the people were looking at the, the emotionless, motionless face of, of these things that they were like yeah everybody's gonna buy into this they i i you know i'm i'm almost uh, imagining like a funeral procession level of spirit on that set knowing that they were contributing to one of the worst films ever made because there's no question in my mind that this is absolutely in the in the running for this i mean it's I, I enjoy myself a good bad movie. Like I, I reviewed The Room recently, and it was it was entertaining. But this this like because it's so bad, it's epic. This is just not. It's just uh, a, a, a trial that you have to kind of trudge through to get to the end to be able to say that you finished it. Just like it reminds me of the Star Wars Holiday Special, where you know you kind of want to be able to just say you you watched it so that you know when you're watching a video or something like that and the reference comes up to it, you can be one of the people in the room there like oh yeah that thing's a god awful so in that regard only i'm happy that i was able to sit through it but my god this thing is just awful and just a uh, it's just, like i said the best way i could think of it is to try uh, uh, or say state it is it's a trial to get through because there is nothing there's just nothing in this movie to grab onto like you can't there is there isn't a single element that you can say oh well you know that was good or that was entertaining or funny or interesting or anything remotely positive there's just it's the complete dearth of quality uh, and like the oh man the acting is awful across the board like there's there's and like that's the thing too is like some of the there's moments that are completely baffling like there's uh, um, uh, a scene where like so the basic plot is you have these garbage pail kids and they get they for some reason get involved in this like second hand store that they're living forced to live in the basement while they're looking for their other garbage pail kid, kid brethren and they befriend this old guy and this little this little like young dude and at one scene the young guy the young dude goes home and sleeps like you know a human being does but he comes back in the morning to bring the garbage pail kids breakfast brings them breakfast he goes upstairs and has a conversation with uh the uh the old guy and then in the next scene he goes back down and he's talking to them and then when he leaves the room he's like okay guys i'll see you in the morning what is it night now did did that conversation between him and the old man take an entire day or what did i miss like and stuff like that across the board it's just oh, so baffling and oh there's a scene where they go into a bar with all these bikers who are tough and stuff and it's just so nonsensical and by the end it's it's like it's like the scene in Wee's big adventure where by the end that the bikers all like them but there's no reason given for it other than all of a sudden a random biker is like these guys are hardcore they're with me and then everyone was like we love you garbage pail kids and later in the movie the the kid goes to the bar and gets it's all the bikers to come to their aid then there's no scene where he finds out about the biker sequence they, they try there's there's a moment they, they make it abundantly clear that the garbage pail kids are trying to keep the fact that they left the house a bit of a secret from him yet somehow he knows that they've got buddies in that bar without ever having discussed it with anybody he can just sense it he just knows the garbage pail kids have buddies in bars because where else would they have buddies oh it's just so god awful like ugh, I, oh this was a this was a tough one to sit through. Uh, I <sighs> honestly, there was just nothing, just nothing to grab hold to on this thing. I absolutely couldn't stand this movie. Uh, like I said, I, the, the only thing that I can take from this is that I can say that I've finally seen this thing. And when I, if I'm watching like a Watch Mojo list or something like that, and it comes up, I'll be like, oh yeah, that thing's a piece of crap. Uh, other than that, it is just worthless on every level. Um, that, uh, those are my thoughts on the Garbage Pail Kids movie. Uh, if you, uh, I'm gonna say this, and I can't even believe I'm gonna say this. If you like this movie, please, hit me up in the comments below and i'm sure that there are probably some people who like it on an ironic level and maybe if i was sitting around uh with some buddies and i had a few beers and in me i would I'd be able to like it on an ironic level too but i don't know how I, right now i can't 
see anything that's remotely likable about this movie, and even on an ironic level, is just useless to me in every way. Uh, but if you like this movie, please comment below and explain to me how that's physically possible. Um, <laughs> otherwise, please, uh, uh, please comment below and, and uh, you know, applaud me for uh, plodding through this thing giving it the old color shy <laughs> or just uh, let me know that you enjoyed watching me painfully discuss this awful film other than that please hit that like button uh it does big things for my channel it gets people to check out my videos that wouldn't otherwise and hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel i love talking to you guys about movies and other things and i would love anybody who's new to my channel to be amongst the people who i get the opportunity to do that with other than that have yourself a nice day